um, I guess the, the, the general question was if LFP is less ESG intensive, but also non-economic, is LFP recycling really a solution to LFP concerns? And then I think more broadly for the sort of recycling industry is if, if cobalt is to be phased out uh, later on in the sector's cycle, um, what does that mean for uh, recycling efforts? Will that really hamper the economics of these different uh, types of facilities? When recycling LFP cathode based cells, it absolutely changes the economics. But when you actually look at what is needed, if, if there's a large amount of LFP based cells coming off the market, they still physically need to go somewhere. So recycling is profitable with high nickel and cobalt cathodes right now, essentially without being paid a tipping fee because of those commodity prices. But you still need to have recycling operations in general. So essentially, the selling price of the products out of the system, plus the processing cost of those material is really going to drive the equilibrium purchase price for those you know, waste and end of life products. So essentially, if the value of products coming out isn't as high, it's simply that people may need to pay to have them handled responsibly, to have them recycled or treated. And it's going to be you know, market forces that drive that. You know, like I said, essentially the selling price of the products minus the processing costs is really going to drive the equilibrium purchase price for those materials. As far as the ESG nature, I think it's a bit premature to try to state how that would rank versus high nickel and cobalt based cells. There are many, many different types of processes that can be used to do that. And I wouldn't necessarily say that it's is higher or lower environmental impact to recycle LFP based cells. I mean, people really look at the lithium for the value. There are many of the other scrap metals still, the aluminum, the copper, the steel, but the different types of, of iron and phosphate based chemicals, instead of taking them and trying to sell them to the market, an integrated approach where you take them and directly remake LFP based, you know, precursor and cathode can help drive a lot of those intermediate costs out. So by making more of an integrated chain, there are still ways to make the processing of LFP-based cathode cells economically by closing the loop there. Yeah, interesting. I mean, it is fascinating to think about the sort of closed loop, but then obviously there's so many different questions when it comes to the, the payability of each metal throughout the chain and what the processing cost will be and, and what that means then for you know, volatile uh, primary prices as well. Um, Exactly. But if your product is the cathode, then you're not selling the metals themselves so that the value isn't the metal price. Essentially, the value is the new cathode and the new, new sell value back in that local market. So it does change that paradigm a bit. Yeah, interesting. So that way it becomes a little bit more circular. 